all right guys today we are going to be reacting to the trump test so one of the videos that were recommended i'm guessing this is going to be like comedy like a uh, german comedy let's see what's going on here i said to the doctor who was dr ronnie jackson i said is there some kind of a test an acuity test and he said there actually is and he named it whatever it might be and it was 30 or 35 questions the first questions are very easy the last questions are much more difficult, uh, like a memory question. It's uh, like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, TV. So they say, could you repeat that? So I said, yeah. So it's person, woman, man, camera, TV. Okay, that's very good. And then 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes later, they say, Remember the first question, not the first. Okay. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this video. Okay. First, but the 10th question, give us that again. Can you do that again? And you go person, woman, man, camera, TV. They said nobody gets it in order. It's actually not that easy, but for me it was easy. But then when you go back about 20, 25 minutes later and they say, go back to that question. They don't tell you this. Go back to that question and repeat them. Can you do it? And you go, person woman man camera tv wow he got it i just forgot about it <laughs> he was asking that i'm like man he did he what was the order again it was a person woman man camera tv or something like that it, I, I almost forgot about it wow they say good memory that's amazing how did you do that i do it because i have like a good memory because i'm Cognitively there. So I said to the doctor, Dr. Ronnie Jackson, because I'm smart, the J in Donald J. Trump, that's for genius. You know, I can speak 50 languages or more, like American, South American, North American, Californian, Floridian, Connecticut. I can even speak German. Can you speak German? No. Nobody speaks German. It's too difficult. But for me, it's easy, you know? So I did this test to test for demens, which means intelligence in German. And it was perfect. So they said, can you draw us a picture? You know, Marlon, maybe, maybe a house. Take your time, you have two hours. And I did this. That's the Trump Tower. And they went, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. It's beautiful. Then they did another test. Hold on, is that the same guy? I think that's the same guy, right? Memory test. Question was, how many fingers do you have on your hand? That's him, right? Him, him. And then the guy that was standing up taking note, that was him as well, right? No looking. My hand was under the table. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see. Uh -uh. I couldn't count with my fingers. No. Nope. It was just memory. memory. And I said, well, I think it's five. And they said, wow, that's absolutely right. But now tell us, how many fingers do you have on the other hand? Again, no looking, hands under the table. I couldn't contact my people. And I said, well, that's a trick question. Because I think they both have the same. So the answer is, again, four. And they said, wow. That's amazing. You won. You should be president forever. Nobody is better than you. So, Mike, I want to say thank you. That was a great interview. Good questions. No fake news. Very fair. You're a good person. Is that him, Farley? Person. A beauty. I think it's him. He's having a little filled up right here in the cheeks, right? Beautiful woman with a good man. Yeah, see? Right here, that, that third, um, how do they call it? Double shin kind of thing here, right here as well. Behind the camera, from TV, mm -hmm. vote for me. I'm great president, the best, and cognitively there. <laughs> Person, man, camera, president, idiot. <laughs> Wow. 
What can I say? I don't know, man. What should I say? It, it was dry. The joke was dry. I know what he was trying to do, but it was dry. Am I the only one? That was tremendous work. Be proud. We can be proud. God bless. Mechiv. That's great. Really? I think that the joke was a little bit dry, man. Huh. You don't even know whether to cry or laugh anymore. You know what's crazy? Here's the thing. As an American, I, I just want you guys to understand. They make a lot of impressions of Trump, right? It's a lot, a lot of impression for Trump. A lot of them. Because Trump is a very guy. It's a very easy guy to to impersonate. Very easy to impersonate. You can do this and do and, and do this New York accent from with Queens, Manhattan. You know, it's very easy to imitate. Big, we're gonna win bigly. Uh, we're gonna bigly. I'm telling you, so it's very easy to imitate, right? But I feel sometimes it's a very easy impersonation to mess up or overdo it. I personally think he was do overdoing it. It's my opinion, guys. It's my opinion. Because again, it's very easy to mess up. It might be because, again, as an American, they're making millions of impressions of Trump. Every, everybody. Everybody that you see, they always do that eh, 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 impression of Trump. So it's easy to mess up. I was surprised because Oliver Kalouf, English is pretty good. Take a look at his biography. He's a trained interpreter for English and French. I just want to say thank you. Without you, the internet will be even more bleak as it already is. Thank you, Oliver. Bro, for real? For real? We could have. Mm, it was kind of dry, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. Hey, I'm not. I'm not a liar, man. I'm, I'm not built like that. I'm not built like that. Like, I need a little bit more. Uh, less. Uh, yeah. I think he needed to pull back a little bit. Not overdo it. I think they hit the joke with the hands, like the left hand underneath the table. And guess I, I, I guess he has the same finger as the other hand. That was a nice line, bro. It just, it, it was too much. Of, uh, 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 uh. See, I think it was a little bit too much. But that's my opinion, folks. I might be wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.